Hey guys, with some very good rumors here today, and there are two different analysts from Korea. One guy and another guy from, yeah, another country. But they are saying, and uh, saying that these rumors that uh, iPad 2 only is going to have 256 megabytes of RAM, it's nothing confirmed or anything, but Gizmodo, they wrote that and they asked these people that were there and they couldn't confirm it or anything. But it seems now like these kind of analysts think that, or know that the iPad 2 will double the amount of RAM since the iPad 1 and it's going to be at least, you know, if it's double that means 512 megabytes so that is kinda cool because that means that it's going to have the same amount of RAM as this Android Frequent of Honeycomb Motorola Zoom tablet so that's kinda good and also this RAM it will have this new A5 processor that A5 processor RAM that is called LPD LPD DR2 and this memory is better than the first generation iPad that only have the LPDDR LPDDR1 RAM so yeah so it's going to be better and also it seems like it's going to run at a higher clock speed 1066 megahertz instead of 800 mega megahertz as on the iPhone 4 iPhone 4 it also got 512 megabytes of RAM but so it seems like the iPad 2 is going to have the same amount of RAM but higher clock speed and better memory so that is good and the memory will be supplied by both Samsung and Hynix that's good to know if you want to, you know, order some. So, yeah, guys, that is basically some awesome news because that was the thing that I was kind of worried about. It only would have the same amount of RAM as it had in the iPad 1, 256 megabytes. And I also think that many people, they all say that 512 megabytes, that is not that much. But I think you need to look more on the performance um, than the numbers. Because there are many people that are like using Windows machines and stuff like that and sit there and have 4 gigabytes of RAM and they think that, oh, we need to have more, we have to have the same amount of RAM as on our computers in our little tablets. No, it doesn't really work like that. But it's going to be interesting to see if 512 megabytes is going to be enough for, let's say, iOS 5, iOS 6, 7, you know. But I, I don't think that we, we're going to see a... I mean, two two or three years, yeah, then you need to buy a new tablet, I assume. So, yeah, see.